In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to learn why you shouldn't focus on what you forgot when you gave your presentation. This morning I got an email from one of my clients. The first thing he wrote was, Michael, as soon as I got off stage, I remembered three things I'd forgotten in my presentation, and I'm sure there's more. I thought, oh, that's, I wonder how that affected the speech. And then in the next paragraph, he wrote this line. The audience and the organizer told me it was the best keynote speech they've ever heard. I thought, typical. I see this all the time with presenters. People I've coached, people I haven't coached. It seems to me that human beings are just wired to criticize themselves. I'm not a psychologist. I don't want to get into whether it's insecurity. And I, I just think we're wired that way for some reason because I see it almost every time I watch somebody present and then come off stage. It doesn't matter if it's a speech, it's some type of entertainment, it's a sales call. And because of that email, I came up with a new phrase. It doesn't matter what you forgot. It only matters what they remember. An important element of presenting that I remind my clients of all the time, right before they go speak. I, I may talk to them on the phone, may send them a text, or we'll have a Zoom call. I remind them of this. You're probably going to make mistakes. In fact, you're, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to forget parts of your presentation, most likely. Guess what? The audience doesn't know what you didn't say. Don't get hung up on all that. Focus on the message that you came there to give. That key foundational concept. Don't worry about memorizing your stories. You know your stories. Get them out there. Open with a bang. Conclude with punch. Have a call to action that gets them to take action. Here's a new habit I encourage you to start right now. Every time you speak, I don't care if it's at a Toastmasters event, at a local civic organization, a keynote, doesn't matter. As soon as you're done, ask yourself this. What are three things I did well in that talk? If it's, I didn't fall going up the steps, I, I got the whole speech out, I don't care what the three are, develop this habit. Because what happens is when you start focusing on the positive, the negative doesn't seem as important or as big. I'm not saying ignore those areas that you can improve in, but put yourself in a positive mindset. Give yourself a pat on the back for getting up there and speaking. The other reason we do this is if we don't know what we're doing well, or we don't remind ourselves, or we don't get feedback from others on what we did well, we may stop doing those things at work. This is an excellent habit to create. What did I do well? Then ask yourself, where can I improve? By doing that, you lessen the feeling that, oh my God, I made this mistake and I just ruined the speech. That's not true. So your tip today is remember this, it's not what you forget, it's what they remember. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.